The Orthodox Church hasn't always communed using a spoon with the body and the blood both in the chalice given to the faithful. In fact, there were a variety of liturgical practices that existed prior to and even after the 7th century when the spoon or tongs, as it's technically called, began being used in the East. One such practice we see from St. Cyril of Jerusalem in the fourth century. Make the left hand as if a throne for the right, hollowing your palm and receive the body of Christ, saying after it, Amen. And the earliest image we have of Christians receiving the body and blood of Christ, the Fractio Panis in the Roman catacombs, shows a community around a table receiving the bread and the wine. In such cases, the faithful would receive the body of Christ in their hand and then drink directly from the chalice. Believe it or not, but Cardinal Humbert, who was accusing the East of schism and ultimately led to the Great Schism, used the spoon as an argument against the East. And in 12th century Spain and Africa, they used a straw. And to this day, Coptic Orthodox partake of the elements separately.